Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of Great War Commander, the game of tactical combat in World War I. It's designed by Roger Nord and Pascal Toupe. It's from Hexasem. This is the second printing. I was a little shocked that I hadn't covered this on the channel already, being that Combat Commander is the single best game ever created. While this is not officially part of the Combat Commander family, that is just Combat Commander Europe, Combat Commander Mediterranean, Combat Commander Pacific, and all their expansions officially. This borrows the Combat Commander system and expands on it and changes it. It does add uh, oddly tanks into this one, um, which you know some 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 like, some don't. It's, it's, uh, you know. So anyway, that is one difference about this one is that it does have some element of uh, armored warfare in it. Um, but it's World War I armored warfare, not World War II, which totally exceeds the bounds of reality for the size of a combat commander game. But anyway, neither, neither here nor there. So this plays two players. Uh, whew, boy. Um, so it contains uh, three, three factions. You got France, Germany, and the USA. Um, there is an expansion that brings Britain into the mix as well. So anyway, let's look at it. Um, it's going to feel just like Combat Commander, sort of. I know there's some rule changes that are a little different, but uh, anyway, let's crack it open and see what you get in the box. And I should clarify that even though it's not officially part of the series, it was officially, uh, it officially uses the, the system and expands on it. So, you know, GMT, this is Hexasim. GMT sells this on their website for Hexasim as an American distributor. Beautiful box, beautiful photo. Uh, the artwork on this, I believe, is really nice. The maps are, very unique and very cool. So, all right, as I mentioned, we have our our decks of cards here. So you got your, uh, let's see, that would be your USA deck. And then you got your French deck. And then you got your German deck, all right? 72 cards, I believe. We'll open the German deck. Very, very similar here. You got your order, your cards that play for order, actions, events. You got the dice, you've got random hexes, and there are, let's see, you got these um, additional instruction cards here. And for our order cards, yeah, you got 72 order cards. The different combinations of die rolls for 2d6 is there's 36 combinations, so you get each one twice. So basically, you get 72 cards, and then we've got these. Strategy cards, this is the German ones, anti-gas strategy, strategy, only from 1916. No friendly formations may break because of gas for the rest of the game. Keep as a reminder card and you add plus one to a, you can add plus one to a single roll. So those are marked differently. So there's, you got some German strategy cards there. And you got the Kaiser. All right, so you have, let's see, nine German strategy cards. And I'm assuming that you're going to have some of those in each of the other decks as well. And then you've got what look like instruction cards. So there's a die roll. There's a support table for Germany. If you want to bring somebody in, you flip a card and get 2 through 12. Uh, support procedure, support table procedure, time marker, advanced procedure. So a little reminder cards of the rules, which is kind of nice to have on, on the table. How many orders, the distribution of the orders for Germany, and the distribution of the actions for Germany. So very cool. And the artwork is obviously going to be different. So these are your move orders. Get past those and your fire orders. And they're using uh, colorized images from World War I. Yeah, Germany has a lot of fire orders. Goodness, you got a runner. So that's a little different. You've called for a standing uh, runner as an order which uh, will be detailed in the rules, obviously. But I've not seen something similar to that in Combat Commander. Air Assault, Artillery Requests, the usual, Recover, 
HMG suppression, and offensive. So they got some new orders, new actions, obviously new events. Very cool. And then we have, oh, we got everything here wrapped up. That's very nice. All right, so we'll start out with the Com Great War Commander rule book. And this is 32 pages. It is, appears to be on A4 instead of, uh, you know, letter because it's a, it's a Europe, European publishing company. Um, this is version 1.2 of the rules, changes from version 1.1 of the rules in green from version 1.0 in blue. So they've updated the rule book in the version 2 printing. It is full color, which is very nice. It is, it is on glossy stock, which is, you know, always going to be a little more disappointing than having it on a, on a matte finish so that you can read it without, as you can see, glare of lights getting in your way on your game table. But it appears to be uh, sectioned similar to Combat Commander. In fact, the, you know, good old Chad is credited as the system designer, so it's very cool. Um, yeah, so you get your fate cards, your decks of fate cards, 72, and then the strategy cards, and there's, there's an example of a US card, so they do get them as well. Um, they borrowed some of, of from the rules, because obviously the Great War Commander, the important rule is, the motto is, a rule means exactly what it says. Should be the order of the day, and that's exactly as it appears in the Combat Commander game. So I think if you know Combat Commander, you're gonna have a pretty good time picking up the additional rules in this one, so. And I do know Combat Commander, so I'm looking forward to playing this one. You see a sample of the artwork for the maps. It's very nice as well. So it appears to it is it is sectioned. It's in you know chapter section, uh, paragraph things like that, and so it's easy to find and look up rules when you need them, which is awesome. There's an example of a fire attack. If you've never played Combat Commander, you could go right into this and learn this one first. If you have, then you'll be able to go right into this and uh, and pick it up probably fairly quickly. In fact, I think I will be doing that. So there's the rulebook, 32 pages. Now we've got our counter sheets. Now this is very cool. All right, this is nice. All right, the counter sheets are, there's four of them. There's their separate, right? Not, not folded. All right. So we're going with green being US, blue being French, and gray being German. What's very cool is they have done pre-rounding of the counters. You do not need to use the Oregon Laminations 2.5 Lux, 2.5 millimeter Lux corner rounder. They are all pre-rounded. So you got your, even your small markers are pre-rounded. Suppression markers. Here's some, uh, here's some tanks. You got a Chamond, uh tank. We have trenches that will, that will alter the uh, you know, fortifications in the game. You got marine rifles, replacements, captain, captains, you know, officers. Uh, very cool. We have some French units that have a, the colors across their corner. And others don't. Not sure what that's about. Something different. You got your weapons, Hotchkiss Chashot, three inch Stokes, telephones. Very cool. Very nice that they're pre rounded. That's, wow. That's very cool. All right, so you got fusiliers. I cannot pronounce my foreign languages very well. You got planes, you got one of each for each side. You got again some more emplacements, some uh, foxholes, barbed wire, explosions, more trenches. Your objective points, suppression markers. Now we got a big sheet of French counters here. Line troops, specialists, specialists, control markers. Victory point markers, time, surrender, sudden death. Very, very combat commander-esque. And then the last counter sheet here has a few Americans and then a lot of Germans. And then again, some more markers. 
I saw version one. I'm not sure if they had pre-rounded in version one. If that was something that was added for version two, I may be wrong. But that's a nice, a nice touch. Very, very nice. All right, four sheets of counters. And then we've got, what else we got going in here? We have, oh, this is very cool. We have, okay, so we've got the highest ranking leader table and leader table. So you got German and then France, German, US. The various scenarios and dates or where or fields, theaters. So you got a chart for that. And then for these locations. And then we've got the French order of battle. Again, for the various years and theaters. And the American order of battle. And then we have our scenario cards. Pull this out here. Get to it. So we have the scenarios for this one are printed on. It's A4 glossy cardstock. So the scenarios are cards, which is really cool because you can just pull them out and have them on the table and not have to flip through a book to get to them. So that's very nice. So scenario one. As you use map six in that direction, French, German, how to set up what your forces are, how to set up the game and any special rules, and a descriptive text about the battle. Birth of a legend. Scenario two, fixed bayonets. So this includes 16 total scenarios on eight cards here. I'm gonna say eight, that yeah, looks like eight cards. Yep, eight cards. Again, full color. Very nice. And then we've got our maps. So we're gonna, let's see if there's anything else before the maps. Oh yeah, we have a playbook. Let's see, and there's our German order of battle. We had the French and US ones earlier. And we've got the German order of battle, which is uh, inside the, is on one side of a double width glossy stock that has the terrain chart inside. They can do this because German's always gonna be in a battle, so this, you're always gonna have this one out and you can just get out the French or English or American one that you need for the opposing force. And then on the back, it's got the fortifications guide. What they do, trenches, foxholes, mines, wires, blockhouse, pillbox, and the notes and the cover it goes. And then you got the playbook here, which includes the random scenario generator. So they've included that as well. Example of play, design notes, and order summary. And that comes in at eight pages. So there's a summary of the different orders you can give. So runner, which we had not seen before, place a runner from the counter mix in the hex of the highest ranked leader, which is what that other chart gives you, or move a runner or declare an artillery request order if a runner is stacked with the highest rank leader and a functioning telephone is present. So that's what that runner did. There's others that I didn't read about, but there you go. So you have an example of play and you can actually tell you how to set up to follow along with the example of play. So you can really learn the game by doing. And then how to generate random scenarios. Cool. I was saying theater, but it's the battle that you're fighting. Marn and things like that. So, so let's take a look at some of these maps. They're very large. Again, they're four, four panel, I should say, double sided, um, and a four size. But the graphics on them are really incredible. I mean, look at this. This is just a mined out field. You can see the hexes there are marked, but then you've got, you actually have on the map, your time track, your victory point track, your casualty track are all on the map. So you don't have to have that as a sideboard, which is pretty cool. And they can do that because they have all that extra space with the A4, I guess. But that's really nice. You got your objectives, a place to put your objectives, barrages, gas attacks, 
Tells you what the map number is right there. You got a firepower track. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's map 11. Just gonna take a quick look at all of them here. And on the back of that, this is not as mined out as more of a forest. It's map 12. Very cool. Ooh, I like this. I like it a lot. Map five. Get another mined out. We got some ridge lines here, hills that you have to deal with. A little bit of forest. And then and then map six on the other side. We got a town. Got a dried up riverbed here. Field. Map three. There's map three. Beautiful artwork. Map four, and we got our, we actually have a river, a bridge, railroad tracks, some ridges. I like how the ridges, even though the artwork's there, they show the ridge and which way is uphill because the shading, depending on which side you're on, can be an illusion. So very nice. And being that they're A3 times four, just to let you know they come out at, they come out about 24, they still come out about 24 by a little over 17 inches. So chances are if you have Plexi that you use for a combat commander, these will work under that same Plexi. Not having anything new. And it's really nice having that track on each map. It saves a lot of space. It's right there. Map sheet number one. Big fields. And then we have oh, map sheet number two, which looks frozen. Snowy. Barren. Very desolate here. Very rough. Couple of ridges you gotta go up. And ten. Oh gosh, looks like you're battling on the moon. Hey, science fiction commander. Hmm. Alright, one more map. So there are twelve maps total. So you will have six map sheets. So here we are at map seven. Another town, town center, got a fountain there in the middle. Got a little quarry. Looks like a little quarry going here, a field, some bomb dead areas, marsh, swamp. And map eight, another town. Very cool, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Looking forward to this. Looking forward to seeing some of the expansions too. That'll be awesome. All right, so if you picked up a copy of the second printing of Great War Commander from Hexasim, you were gonna get those six beautiful map sheets. You're gonna get the eight page playbook with a example of play and a random scenario generator. The German order of battle terrain chart and fortifications chart on a double width uh, glossy cardstock. You're gonna get the eight scenario cards with 16 scenarios. The French order of battle for the different battles, the order of battle for the different battles and the American order of battle. You're gonna get the highest ranking leader table and leader table for the different battles. You're gonna get those four sheets of beautifully pre-rounded counters for the French, German, and United States armies. And you're gonna get that 32 page full color rule book on glossy stock. The three faction fate decks and strategy decks. And that is everything that comes in. Great War Commander game of tactical combat in World War I. Roger Nord, Pascal Tupi, and from Hexasim. This is the second printing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.
Oh!